before I throw anything, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to John from John the Potter. Check out my awesome John the Potter t-shirt. And he also sent me one of his amazing mugs. And just look at the glaze movement in that. So I can refocus. But the way it pulls on top of that, flows down the handle, really nice. Plus, that handle is comfy to hold. I don't put the groove down mine, but when you see ones that come out like that, you see the way it's flowing down the inside as well. Really nice, really comfortable. So I'll have to christen that in a second, but first, I am throwing a, a little test. Um, I showed you the other day the failure of this glaze slip. I have been supplied a recipe by someone else who does a similar sort of thing um, that I want to test on a piece to see how it holds but it will definitely straddle that line between glaze and slip he um, does some amazing work with really viscous static glazes so with any luck this will work but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a small tumbler sort of thing and apply it to it and dry it over the next few days and see what happens. So I think this is 250 grams, I haven't really weighed it precisely. Just because for this it doesn't matter. Um, but what I'm going to do is just very quickly throw a test piece so I get to see how it will respond to the sort of thing it will be on if it works. Um, and I might try sticking lumps of clay in it as well to see, like with the handle, how well it can support things, how well clay sticks to it. But uh, I have high hopes for this. It might still not be exactly what I had in mind, but um, it's going to be closer. Well, I hope that it's going to be closer than my test. We know it definitely works because of previous results with it, it's just whether or not it works with this specific application. And that's that. So now I'm going to go and mix up a batch this recipe. Come back in a little bit and apply it to the outside, see if it sticks. <laughs> 